Who's at six? We're not alone. This is a sign that we're not alone. Sparrow nurses say there's a noticeable difference in the hospital after reinforcements arrive from the Department of Defense. It is our top story tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Lauren Thompson. More than two dozen federal nurses and doctors are at Sparrow Hospital right now helping the short-staffed health care system. And as much as their presence will help the patients, it's definitely helping Sparrow's caregivers as well. 6 News reporter Tony Garcia is here now with more on this national relief. Tony. Yeah, Lauren and Sherry, I've spoken with dozens of medical professionals over the past year plus, and you can see it in their eyes when they're drained, and you can also see when they have hope, and today, that hope was shining through. I was relieved, I was excited. Especially on our night shift where we really have lost like, a lot of caregivers, you can feel the difference, everybody feels, feels them here. Sparrow workers are breathing a long-deserved sigh of relief, finally getting some help to support the local fight against COVID-19. It is you know, physically helpful to have more bodies on the floor, to help with patients, to care for our community. It's also helpful. It's a morale booster. The federal workers arrived Saturday. They've now gone through orientation and are up to speed for the night shift Monday. India Williams says the help is very much needed. And we've been pushing ourselves past our limits now for the last, I would even argue, few months. I've even noticed a difference today, actually. Monday also saw good news in the COVID numbers. Fewer than 10,000 cases were reported over the past three days. For perspective, there were more than 100,000 cases in a single week just last month. But still, these healthcare workers know the battle is far from over. Here on the seventh floor west unit of the Sparrow Hospital, this has been the main COVID unit since the beginning of the pandemic two years ago. As you can see, all these doors closed. Every single one is still full with COVID patients except one room, and even that has another patient coming in just a matter of moments. The nurses watch the numbers daily and know Omicron is starting to go down, but after the pattern they've seen, they're not getting ahead of themselves. It does feel hopeful, and at the same time, I think that we've all been hopeful before. I've, I feel like right when I think that the numbers are getting better, we just get hit with another influx of um, really sick patients. So now I just take um, every day one, you know, I take it one day at a time. And as I mentioned today, those new workers are already helping out across various units this evening. So be sure to stay with us here at 6 News because tomorrow afternoon I'll go back to Sparrow to talk with two of the federal assistants about what they're seeing. And we'll have that story for you right here on 6 News tomorrow evening. Lauren. All right. Thank you. For